Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the very latest news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued two laws for the year 2017 after they were approved by the representatives and Shura councils. Law 4 of 2017 ratified the Arab Convention to Combat Transnational Organized Crime, which was signed in Cairo on the 21st of December 2010. Law 5 ratified the agreement between the governments of Bahrain and India regarding cooperation to combat terrorism, transnational organized crime and the illegal drug trade. The agreement was signed in New Delhi on the 2nd of December 2015. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa met with Abu Dhabi Crown Prince, United Arab Emirates Armed Forces Deputy Supreme Commander General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan today as part of His Majesty's visit to the United Arab Emirates. The two sides reviewed the deep-rooted historic relations between the two countries and ways of enhancing bilateral ties at all levels for the best interests of both peoples. His Majesty affirmed the strength of the brotherly relations between Bahrain and the UAE and the mutual keenness of elevating them to higher levels. The meeting also discussed the importance of bolstering joint coordination and consultation under the umbrella of the GCC Council in order to support GCC action for the progress and prosperity of the people, in addition to facing the current challenges based on the GCC principles of a united history, goals and common destiny. His Majesty hailed the active role of the United Arab Emirates under the leadership of its President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and Abu Dhabi Crown Prince, UAE Armed Forces Deputy Supreme Commander, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, in supporting the GCC March, defending Arab causes and preserving regional security and stability. His Majesty the King and His Highness the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince exchanged views on the current regional, Arab and international developments, as well as discussing a number of issues of mutual concern. His Majesty the King also met today with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in Abu Dhabi. His Majesty the King extended his greetings to Russian President Vladimir Putin, wishing him abundant health. The meeting reviewed the existing solid relations linking the two countries and the developing joint cooperation in several fields for the best interests of both countries and peoples. His Majesty the King asserted Bahrain's keenness on developing bilateral ties in addition to the Kingdom's support to Russia's role in spreading peace and returning security and stability to Syria through the Astana Conference and other mechanisms. His Majesty the King also underscored the important role of the international community and its cooperation with Russia to set regional security, stability and good neighbourliness. His Majesty the King noted that his recent meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow was constructive and its positive effects would be reflected on boosting bilateral relations. The meeting also reviewed the latest regional and international political developments and issues of mutual concern. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, today issued Edict 4 of 2017, appointing two directors at the Ministry of Interior. Lieutenant Colonel Mohammed Ali Khalil Al bin Khalil was appointed as director at the Ministry of Interior, and Major Fatima Omar Abdurrahman Abdul Ghaffar as director of the Health and Social Affairs Directorate. The Minister of Interior is responsible for transferring and appointing the directors mentioned to any vacant directorate at the Ministry, if necessary. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gurubiya Palace today the Deputy Premiers and a number of senior officials. His Royal Highness affirmed that attempts to disrupt security will not deter the government's determination to root out terrorism. The Prime Minister stressed that it is the government's duty to secure both stability and security. He also added that anyone who is directly or indirectly linked to any attempt to target stability will be under the penalty of law and justice. During the meeting, His Royal Highness stressed the importance of besieging terrorists and preventing them from executing plans that target societal security. He noted that social media has become a large source of information that must be used as a media platform that serves national unity, development and progress, and not a means of spreading messages targeting the social fabric and promoting extremist ideologies, adding that this matter must be followed by the concerned authorities. 
His Royal Highness also asserted that any matter regarding the security of the nation is one of the utmost importance. The Prime Minister also affirmed that the Kingdom extends its hand in cooperation to various countries that share its keenness to establish relations based on mutual respect and looks from some countries that provide a cover for terrorism in Bahrain to review their positions and policies. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that Bahrain has managed to become a pioneer in empowering the youth under the wise leadership and directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted that the launch of His Majesty King Hamad's award for increasing youth participation in achieving the goals of sustainable development stems from His Majesty his belief that the Kingdom is responsible for preparing and enabling the youth to take part in the development march. His Highness said that the award came to urge public and private institutions to empower the youth, adding that the youth have become a main source of innovation and development in the world. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa deputised the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jauda, to deliver His Majesty's letter to the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres. In the letter, His Majesty expressed interest in enhancing cooperation between the Kingdom and the United Nations in various fields and in providing a suitable environment for them to participate in achieving the goals of sustainable development. Al Jauda launched His Majesty King Hamid's award for empowering youth to achieve sustainable development goals at the UN headquarters in New York during the opening session of the 6th Economic and Social Council Youth Forum entitled The Role of Youth in Poverty, Eradication and Promoting Prosperity in a Changing World. Al Jauda affirmed that the King's Award is his initiative to encourage the government, private, civil sectors and individuals to involve the youth in order to improve the infrastructure related to them. He added that the Kingdom has applied policies that stem from their interest in global youth where His Majesty the King, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa have reflected in the government programme of prioritising youth hailing the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa's support and follow-up on the award's launch stages. The Youth Affairs Minister commended the efforts of the Foreign Minister under the leadership of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, in cooperating with the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs to prepare for the award. He stated that this cooperation resulted in the success of the event and in achieving its goals, praising the efforts of the permanent mission of the Kingdom to the United Nations. His Highness Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa received today a number of ministers, senior officials, heads of diplomatic corps, dignitaries, clerics, businessmen and media personnel who congratulated him on the occasion of the wedding of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa. They also wished His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa a life filled with joy and happiness praying to the Almighty to bless the Al Khalifa family with abundant good health and happiness under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Deputy Premier expressed his thanks and appreciation to the scores of well-wishers for their noble sentiments. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Muller, chaired today the weekly meeting where the Council approved issuing a statement regarding supporting legal procedures and demanding tighter penalties and retribution in order to maintain security. They also approved uh, an issue, another statement on celebrating Arab Women's Day, which is held every year on the 1st of February. The Council approved three reports regarding air transport agreement between Bahrain and the Czech Republic, air services agreement with Hungary and another air services agreement with Georgia. The Council then approved two reports on amending judiciary law and amending procedural law in courts. The meeting went on to approve a proposal regarding the establishment of a traditional market and another proposal on workers' contracts and bachelors' residences.
A number of proposals were approved, allowing Bahraini merchants to sell in parks and public beaches on holidays and special occasions as well as events according to set conditions. Recruits, unemployed Bahraini nurses and stop gold stamping fees recently imposed by the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism Affairs. Bahrain condemned the terrorist attack that targeted a Saudi frigate monitoring the western part of Hadida port in Yemen, killing and injuring a number of the crew members. Bahrain offers condolences to the families of the martyrs and wishes the injured a speedy recovery, stating that such terrorist acts reflect the insistence of Houthi militias to obstruct all efforts aimed to reach a political solution and threatening the freedom of international navigation, as well as preventing humanitarian aid for Yemeni people. Bahrain affirms its full support to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its efforts in maintaining the region's security and combating terrorism. It also confirms its commitment to participate in the Arab coalition to support the legitimacy of Yemen and to reach a peaceful solution according to the Gulf Initiative, the outcomes of the National Dialogue and the United Nations Security Council Resolution 2216. A press conference headed by Attorney General Dr Ali bin Fadl al Buenin discussed the public prosecution's announcement, which stated that the number of cases in 2016 and 2017 has reached 117,950, from which 116,586 were settled, while the number of offences that have been disposed of completely by the prosecution totaled 2,771 offences. The conference also reviewed the details of the Public Prosecution's annual report of the year 2016, where it stated the positive statistics of the rapid decline of offence indicators in the Kingdom, noting the Public Prosecution was keen on being present in many conferences and seminars that contribute to the development of all its employees, which aims to refine their abilities and to form a better understanding of human rights in criminal matters. Listed were number one, efforts were exerted to develop the skills of public prosecution members. Number two, a Kuwaiti public prosecution delegation paid a visit to Bahrain's public prosecution. Number three, public prosecution member Attorney General Ahmed Al Hamadi was honoured with an excellence award. Number four, according to decision one of 2016, child prosecution was changed to become family and child prosecution. Number five, public prosecution joined a number of events in 2016 and contributed to the field of training and education through the visits of university students. It also celebrated Bahraini Women's Day in the judicial and legal field under the patronage of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, Princess Sabika, and Ibrahim Al Khalifa. We believe in the international cooperation. Uh, we are part of this world. Uh, we sign a lot of uh, memory of understanding with, with five or five countries in, until now. We, we, will, uh, we, we, we hope that we can do it more and more within the next years. And we believe in the, because the, the, the criminal uh, activities is very fast now, we should be uh, rapidly like them. Otherwise, we will fail to, to, to face them. So uh, I think now we have more cooperation the international, within the international arena. And we hope to, we hope to continue this work, inshallah. All the crimes, I mean, from, as we mentioned, from uh, towards 50, if you come to 100%, towards 51%, now it's been 49%. All these, uh, because a lot of effects I mean, within uh, the police after all the, or, or, or the public prosecution, or even the judges there. And we also, uh, uh, we believe in the, also in the community and how they help us to reduce the, the, the number of the crimes. I hope that we can continue in this, uh, in this excellent work and I hope that next year also, inshallah, will be uh, more or less, inshallah.